Okay, we're gonna skin a coyote. We're out here in the out here in the wide open actually, and uh, the temperatures are getting a little warmer in the day. The wind's picking up, so during that time, I want to skin some coyotes so that way they don't spoil good fur and keep them from getting green and everything else. Um, just killed a really nice coyote. Actually, right here where we're gonna skin, we just walked over the hill, called in a coyote, and I shot it. Perfect specimen great big old adult female just absolutely beautiful and before we start skinning I want to tell you a little bit about what I'm using and we can go into the skinning process first I have a heavy-duty skinning apron on you can go to any trapping supply store just Google uh, trapping supplies and they'll have skinning aprons another thing you're gonna need is a tail stripper or puller uh, once you skin around the tail, you pull it down, and this will help you pull that tail off. Once you pull the tail down, you use what's called a tail zipper. You stick it inside and you zip it down, so that way water doesn't get down in that tail and it slips. Obviously, we need knives. This is a Havilon, very uh, thin blade, surgical, great for opening up the coyotes. Uh, they dole out pretty quick when you're doing around the face, so I usually don't uh, use the Havilon when I'm on the face because you're hitting that bone all the time. This is Rapid River Knife Works up in uh, Michigan, the UP of Michigan. I use this. This is a great little skinning knife, and uh, we're going to get started um, doing this. But before I start, one of the most important things is having some gloves. I use the heavy duty black. Uh, I, I order them extra large off a of U-line and they, they go on very easy. They, they're not the kind that break when you pull them on. These things will not break. I can skin 10 coyotes and will not get a rip or a tear. Also, I forgot to mention uh, disposable wipes. Um, basically, I, I use hand and face and then the disinfectant affecting wipes that way you can clean your hands up when you're done most importantly we have a we just concocted a little um, piece of rope with a, a a loop a ring on it and we hang that up over a, a post and that way I can pull the coyotes down we're gonna get started skinning okay to start a coyote what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this Havilon right in inside here you do not want to cut the tendon. That's the main thing we're hooking to. So I come in and just slice right under the skin, like so. I put the leg between my legs, pull over, go right on the top side of the, the anus. Nice warm coyote and she's skinning very easy. And I separate all this and just, just cut a little bit. Most of it will all pull. Hard to see where you cut here. Okay, and then we go right on the upper side of her genitalia and cut across a little bit. Then cut on the inside of the leg a little bit. And then I just go around the leg here. And then I grab this and just pull down. Pull down. That one's done. Now we're going to do this one real quick. Just right inside the skin. Got a hole here. Split, spread the fur apart. Top side of the anus and then cut right at the front there got to be careful it's easy to cut coyotes I almost prefer somewhat of a dull blade there Pull that down. Okay, now I'm gonna hang her up. And I'm gonna go right through the tendons of the legs here. Now the main thing when you get it up like this, you wanna you wanna 
pull it down a little bit and start separating all that the skin from the, the tail so what I'm going to do there's a lot of fat you just cut real lightly right there and it all starts to break away from your tail and that's what you want she's very fat and what I do is I just go around the tail real lightly and then I, I turn my knife around and I, I just slice down just a little ways and I pull it a little bit but I'm not pulling very hard and then I go around the tail just really lightly again and then I grab this tail puller it's got several different size holes a coyote tail a fox tail a raccoon so I put it in there I take this hand hold right here and push up and the, and the tail comes right out then what you're gonna do you're gonna you're gonna hold that tail straight you're gonna find that find where it pulled out and you're gonna stick it in there just gently pull it through and it splits your tail all the way to the very end so that way they'll air dry and you won't have any problems now you just pull her down okay now what I do is I take the tail and I put one hand here and I try to grab a whole bunch okay we got her down now I'm gonna switch knives I'm doing away with the surgical blade I'm going to a heavier steel and uh, you can see where the bullet hit perfect placement and I'm just gonna go around this this coyote a little bit right here It can get a little bit messy just from the blood sometimes you can pull them all the way down you know and and get to these legs and uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that I like to use some kind of a bar to shove through the legs and pull the legs down typically I like to use a knife steel something a little bit longer I had to pull this off my camera tripod so this is all I'm using what you do is there there's a, a shallow spot in here and you're gonna try to come out right here so I'm gonna stick my fingers in there push it through and I'm gonna pull down like this and now about just go past the elbow just like that and then I'm gonna come in push it through on this side pull it down just like that now I'm gonna use my my sharp knife yet I'm just gonna go right around the legs pull that leg through same thing on this one got to be careful so you don't cut things pull, pull that leg through a lot of times I like to cut just a little bit right here. Be careful not to cut the jugglers. You can see the juggler vein right here. Just cut just a little to get it started and then you can just pull it right on down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other knife now, this knife, and I'm going to go right here, cut the ear, and this one's kind of dull too just from doing all cutting bone stick my finger in the ear pull it around you can see the eye sockets right here and it doesn't matter if you if you make your hole a little too big and then you want to get the mouth right there stick your finger in there cut like that get the eye stick my finger in there don't pull real hard because you'll rip it and then right here pull this down pull it down a little further okay now we're down to the nose you just cut it off right there 
And now what I do is I just pull a little bit more and I cut that bottom lip off. You don't need that fur right there. And we have a, a coyote that's been skinned. Turn it, turn it inside out. Now if you're on the road like me, you, you let them cool down. If it's a warm coyote, you let them cool a little bit. And then I just take them and I roll them up like this and I put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in a freezer if you can or put them in a cooler if you've got ice. Just put them in somewhere where they can get cooled because they'll stay five, six days just in a cooler like this, but you're needing to get them froze or you're, you're gonna need to get them sold. So that's the gist of how you skin a coyote when you're on the road. I hope you like this video. I hope you share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel and I'm going to keep doing what I do in the outdoors.